Hello there, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to insert column on your structures using Orion software. So now, in our subsequent video, we uh, we made this particular axis, which are our structural grids. So if you've not watched our video, please do watch our previous video to know how to make this so quickly i'm going to go to our column this is our column as a rover you see column so this little box here pops up so i have uh, a column properties written all neat so i have a label one so if i'm inserting a column it will give me column one so this is the story is on the story one because i have a story look at it here so this is story one that is written there so i'm going to go to this my column so i want a column of two to five two to five millimeters so two to five millimeters so and also i need a column of uh, two to five millimeters by two to five millimeters so two to five millimeters by two to five millimeters so i'm going to come to this particular box here i'm going to click on it which is my eccentricity how do you want your column to be positioned should it be positioned uh, at the 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 edges to this particular place do you want it this so i want it at the center of this my axis it should be at the center of this my because it's supposed to be inside the block wall so uh, i'm going to click on this so you can see it's at the middle of this my wall that is here so I'm going to now move this over so that you can see because we want to insert our columns so I'm going to go over it now my my particular cursor becomes a big plus and a square so which indicates that my uh, command is is on so I'm going to zoom in to now you have to make sure you are clicking the middle of this point where your two axes meet which is our structural grid if not your column is not going to be inserted now i'm going to make this one so i'm going to right click you can see it is added so i have written on it a text 1c1 225 by 225 which is mean this column is on story one and it's column one on this particular story so if i make another column it's going to be c1 c1 1 c2 so this is going to give me 1 c2 so i'm going to go to this middle click so you see 1 c2 so that's how you're going to be inserting them so i'm going to insert this i'm going to insert this so i'm going to uh, insert also this and i'm going to uh, you can decide to insert a column wherever you want so I'm going to insert this but just make sure they are not too much now this is my stairwell that is why I'm inserting two columns here and two columns because there's a lobby here so I'm going to insert a column here and I'm going to insert a column here now this to this gives me a panel now you can see how it is forming now my advice to you is that you print a particular copy of the architectural design do your panel on it before you start uh, doing your drawing or your design on using Orion so that it will be easy for you because I have my drawing and I've done every that I could do so that is why I know where the column should be and I know the grids some of the grids should not have column now if you notice this i didn't put a column here because this grid uh i know where the column is supposed to be. this column will be here so this column will be here so i like taking my columns from left to right so i'm going to put them from left to right and later i'll come from top to bottom so i'm going to put all left to right so i'm going to make a column here I'm going to put a column here also so make sure the column is at the middle of the grid that you are putting now if you can see we have a little challenge here because this grid is crossing and here there is a window 
so I'm going to put my column here so I'm going to have a particular column here now you can see I have a column here now if you can see I'm adding a column here because the architect now look at this the architect put a column here that is not on the same line as this one because from here to here he has made them symmetrical so I have to have two grid I have to have separate grids so that I'll be able to add this column if there is no grid that is crossing each other you cannot have you cannot insert a column so I'm going to insert a column here then I'm going to insert a column here I have a column here so this will give me a panel so I can have a column here so I can have a column and put I'm having a column here I'm having a column here I'm having a column here too so I'm having a column here this is my stair second stairwell so I'm going to click save so you can see how it's giving me uh, uh, helping me also as I'm designing it's helping me out also run is a very smart software I can put the column here I have a column here so if you can see we have successfully inserted every column that we are supposed to insert on this particular structural design of a story uh, building now uh, you can also um, make some changes if you want to like I take for instance I have a column here and I have a column here now I can decide to make changes and decide to move a column or delete a particular uh, column now when you are done inserting all your columns you can now go turn this off and the command go away now these are all the columns you have inserted now you can know the numbers you have inserted into now we have 28 columns on this particular structure so you can see I think it's a, a, a quite a, the number is quite much uh, per se because the columns are too much so you can decide to remove or add a column if this beam span is not that too long I will advise if it is very long you have to insert a column column the beam will not be carrying too much load remember we are designing to avoid collapse so you have to make sure that the beam spans is not too much now we can also modify a particular uh, column if we want to take for instance I can click right click on it to highlight it now you can see it's highlighted this is on uh, column 5 so I can right click uh, or, 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 or on it so I I'll now right click now this is a column properties now you can add whatsoever you want so I can just go and click on it um, um, properties and it comes up I can decide to change this one to 300 so let me change it to 300 I'll change it to 300 and I press this okay gives me that and I'll just go over to update you can see the column becomes uh, bigger uh, and this so it becomes 300 by 2 to 5 so it becomes bigger so you can do various stuff that you want to do that's it guys for inserting of column into your structural design using Orion please give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel see you in our next video